Hi. So I'm making a follow-on video from the last video with the issue of the extruder not being able to reach the bed because of the distance and offset. So um, our friends at PrinterBot were very kind and they did send over a uh, new tip. And for some reason it also came with this plate, but this plate is exactly the same as the backing plate from the other one. So I'm not sure what they were going for, but that would, uh, in theory, allow me to replace the head here. Uh, unfortunately, the the added depth of, I think it's one or two millimeters, really was not enough to get the print bed, uh, to reach the print bed at all. So I'm stuck in the same situation, which brings me back to this design that I had put together, um, essentially replacing the top plate of the existing um, carriage assembly so that you could easily put the new extruder and all of the other goodness on there. And this was essentially created um, by me taking these two pieces and this is the new base for the extruder, uh, the new direct drive extruder and the old top of the V2 and trying to basically just put them together. And I came up with this design and where it says back is the back that reaches this plate right here. So this is the back. So today, um, since I don't have a laser cutter again, what I did is I took and printed one very quickly on a little um, inkjet printer. Uh, so it is this design printed on an inkjet and then I cut it out very crudely with a, an X-Acto blade. Um, but you can see here, try and get that in focus, there we go. So you can see I didn't cut out any of the screw holes, but I cut out all of the plate holes. Um, and the intention here is to then mirror the holes here that are used to hold the extruder in and these two bolts go through it. Um, and then of course, all of the holes on the bottom side that would attach to all of these little posts that stick up. Now, I don't have a laser cutter, so <laughs> um, it was all cut by hand using my X-Acto blade, but uh, all of my errors aside, with cutting, um, it seems that it fits and that this solution would allow a new laser cut piece to be produced that would reduce this thickness, which is two hunks of wood, down to one hunk of wood, giving us about six millimeters of extra closeness to the bed. So this is what I think the solution should be. Um, I'm going to be trying to get my hands on a laser cutter or some time on a laser cutter to actually produce this part. And uh, if it works well, I will post the instructions up on Thingiverse with the plans and the drawing uh, that you see here, which was all done in LibriCAD. So, wish me luck.